step 1 figure out the conclusion of the argument see the conclusion is implicit here it has not been stated as such the conclusion is that the schools are not solely responsible there are other reasons and those reasons have been explained in the proceeding part of the argument we know the conclusion step 2 is to link the bold face with the conclusion so quite clearly the first bold face is something that the argument seeks to oppose so with that groundwork let's look at the answer choices no the first bold face is not the argument's main conclusion the conclusion is just the opposite of the first bold face the bold face says that schools are solely responsible whereas the implied conclusion is that schools are not solely responsible so answer choice A can be very comfortably eliminated no it is not a finding that the argument tries to explain if it said something like evaluate we would have thought about it but definitely what follows is not an explanation what follows is an evaluation or a contradiction and another problem here is to call the first bold face a finding it is not a finding it is someone's opinion so a lot wrong with answer choice b two cross marks here look at answer choice c it introduces a judgment yes as i said this is an opinion a judgment so a good term here in judgment opposed by the argument yes that is what we have been looking for that the first bold face has been opposed by the argument c is likely the correct answer choice look at d no it is not an explanation that the argument concludes to be accurate the argument concludes that the first bold face is not accurate so d should be eliminated look at answer choice e no it is not an evidence it is an opinion someone's opinion is generally not an evidence and no it is not supporting the argument's main conclusion two cross marks here c is the correct answer choice